Chapter 44 To Jeff's relief, they made it to the janitor's storage room without encounters from the staff. Acrid bleach and ammonia stung his nose. Perhaps the janitor had been busy recently. After closing the door, Tina flicked on the lights. Spray bottles of glass, tile, and multi-purpose cleaners rested on the upper shelves. Sponges, rags, rubber gloves, scrubs, brushes, and boxes of tissue filled the middle and lower shelves. Along the floor were mops, pails, vacuums, large jugs of disinfectant fluid and bleach, boxes of Ajax powder and laundry detergent, toilet plungers, and sealed cardboard boxes. Jeff felt weak and vulnerable. They were being held prisoners in this hospital with armed security personnel outside, and he was searching for a comparable weapon in this room. It was ridiculous. He felt inadequate as the guardian of the 11-year-old angel beside him. It made him want to punch the wall, but that would accomplish nothing, of course, except alert the staff. The girl's face wrinkled in worry. He sighed and picked up a Windex cleaner bottle and gave it to her. Spray this in the face of anyone who comes at you. He set down the broom handle, which was too long, and picked up a toilet plunger. Unscrewing the rubber head, he was left with a wooden stick he could effectively use as a bat. She pointed, eyes glossy. Behind that, that panel is where Ashley and I hid before. No time to hide now, sweetie. I know. I just miss her. I keep worrying about her. She's fine, he said, trying to smooth the wrinkles creasing Tina's forehead. We all are going to be fine. I can't explain it, but I feel like she's in trouble. We'll search for her first. He swung the wooden stick through the air. This pathetic weapon would have to do. You said the staff had no weapons other than needles? None that I saw. He swung the stick faster, making a hissing sound against the acrid air. It was better than a needle, but he believed the staff would bring more than needles if they knew adults were awake. He was eager to find Donald as the muscular man's body was a powerful weapon. But Donald could take care of himself for now. Ashley was more vulnerable. She needed them. Tina was right. You never saw any guards up here? No, just a white cloth man and woman. She shivered as she added, and the janitor. Jeff hoped guards were stationed only at the gate and not within the hospital. But surely there had to be some security on the first floor at the entrance. The best way to do this is to go unnoticed, not cause a commotion. We'll revert to fighting only if necessary. Okay, Tina? Okay. She searched his eyes. Are you scared? We're gonna be fine, he said, trying to sound confident. Don't worry, we'll get through this. She lowered her head. We'll find our way, he assured again. But then he heard something that stopped his heart. From somewhere in the hospital, a girl's tormented scream was cut short.